Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, And that's Jeff Lampton with our bum, intro music because we don't have any right now. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Did you want to read the disclaimer there, Jeff? I will read the disclaimer. Welcome to Extemper Radio. My name is Jeff Lampton. I'm here with Jason Evans and Russ Martin. And I'm the producer of the show. No, I'm not. Uh, that's a lie. Right off the bat, we're starting the show. That's with okay. A... You can say Jason Evans is. Okay, Jason Evans is okay. the producer of tonight's show. The things you will hear over the next length of show, <laughs> next hour, uh, represent the views of Extempore Radio and the people making them. All opinions and quotations in no way represent River West Radio and are the sole responsibility of the producer, guests, and callers. River West Radio is not liable for any legal issues arising from the contents of this program. Take it away, Jason. All right. How you guys doing? I'm in the studio tonight. Um, no O'Day. He's in uh, North Dakota with um That should be his new Nate nickname, Ford. No Day. No Day. Hey, Brendan that's no pretty day. good. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah, go with no that. Day. <laughs> so I got, uh, I'm actually running the board for the first time, which is hopefully going well. And um, we have a guest, uh, Russ Martin and... Yeah, co- our Russ. co-host uh, Jeff Lampton here. Me. How's it going? It's going. How are you guys doing? Not too bad. Oh. What you been up to? Same old, same old. How about you? Not too bad. I like how uh, we're relaxing with like nice cold drinks, and Russ has his cocktail here. With, I know. Uh, well, of course. What are you drinking there, Russ? What kind of cocktail is that? <laughs> it's uh, called a Hurricane Sandy. A Hurricane Sandy is it? Yeah. Really? Have, you, have you guys tried that? No. How does it taste? Well, if you haven't tried it, don't, because it's nothing but a watered-down Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> I like the I like Set the it. color of it, though. It's my favorite color. What's your favorite color, Jason? Set it Jason? up and knock it out. Yeah. What's, <laughs> what's my favorite color? What's your favorite uh, color? Blue is my favorite color. Blue is your favorite color. Absolutely. How about yeah. you, Russ? Do you have a favorite color? Well, I'm an ex-cop. My favorite color is uh, Caucasian. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Looks good on you, Russ. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> kind of goes with the way I dance. I can't, I can't imagine you dancing. What's your favorite dance, Russ? <laughs> Lap. All right. All right. <laughs> well, we're learning a lot about Russ already. Uh, we got, uh, like I said, in uh, about five minutes, we'll have uh, O'Day calling in. And then after that, we're going to uh, spend more time uh, talking to Russ Martin, who's been a mainstay in the Milwaukee comedy community for a long long time and um has actually is actually books a lot of shows around Milwaukee too with some uh, great names that come in from California and from uh, all over the place and uh Russ Martin always puts on a great show which is cool how long you've been booking shows Russ oh uh, well uh well, I started coming about nine years ago so about yeah. eight and a half years ago I started uh booking you when you first start out it's hard to uh hard to get jobs you're not proven and uh what i did is just i start my own shows make sure i had a good headliner Uh and a good feature and i would uh i would open up i'd I'd be the mc uh that's that's cool man um and uh let's see what else let me cover some of the things real quick right off the bat before uh they call in uh sure some of the stuff that's going on in the city uh comedy wise this week uh, which can be found on uh, MKE Funny, but on uh, Tuesday there's a show called the Shameless Comedy Show uh, with Ricky Gonzalez, and that's at Big Shots, um, 3000 Roosevelt Road in Kenosha. I haven't been to that room yet. I haven't seen that room yet. Um, Jesse Silver runs that room. Oh, okay. Uh, but I haven't had a chance to go down there. He brings in a lot of good talent down Does there, he? too. Yeah, I just haven't had a chance. I think he's been doing it for a couple months now. I think, like, I think this is like his fourth or fifth show, I believe, huh. if I'm not mistaken. So is it a show? Is it an open mic? Or it's a it, show. It's, it's a, a show. show. Yeah, it's an actual nice show. And uh, um, from what I see on Facebook for the invites and stuff, he's got packed crowds usually. You know, nice. so I mean that's always iffy. But like I right. said, I've never been there, but uh, he's booking some good people. He usually always brings up someone from Chicago, and then uh, brings in some local people too. So. And then on uh, Wednesday, there's open mic competition at the Comedy Cafe. And uh, I think there's about 15 comics. Great chance to go see some local comics um, for that competition. <laughs> it's like the end of the end of the, end of of the the year competition for the Comedy Cafe. They usually have an open mic the last Wednesday of the month. So. Is that a, a cock uh, production? 
I I didn't see uh, COK I saw cock all it. over it. Did you yeah, really? Cock everywhere. COK is a uh, stands for cast of killers, just so everyone knows. <laughs> um, it's not for which you may think, but um, and then also uh, Friday, uh, COK is putting on the end of the world comedy marathon. That's five hours at Karma of comedy from uh, all local people. Actually, they're bringing people from Chicago, um, Minneapolis, Madison. Uh, for the end of the world thing, and that's from 8:30 to 1:30 a.m. And I'm not sure if that costs any money or not. I'll have to look into that. And then at the comedy cafe is uh, our cafe is uh, PJ Walsh uh, this weekend, Kenny DeForest, and Daryl Hill. Yeah, hey, all right. Which is awesome. Way to go get Daryl in there. Absolutely, he's been there a couple times this month, I think now. And then at Joker's we got Paul Hooper. Paul is funny. He is is he really? Oh, yeah. I gotta see him then. He's a great guy. Is he? Yeah. And then uh, at Bonkers we got Dwayne Gill. So that'll be an awesome, just insane amounts of comedy going on as usual uh, in Milwaukee. And like I said, you can go to uh, MKE Funny for all that information. Um, so Jeff, you got your laptop stolen a month ago. Yeah. Now you have your truck gone. Yeah. What's going on, man? I Does do, someone hate you? I think, yeah, the universe. Oh, is, <laughs> and my ex-wife. And <laughs> She's jacking cars now? Probably not, because there's Our not trucks. a lot of things she would jack to begin with, so <laughs> I don't know. Hi <laughs> oh, man, that's funny, man. I don't know. I'm just unlucky. I just have really bad luck. So how does someone get a hold of you now? Like, you have no Smoke phone, no signals. computer. Is it? <laughs> Basically, yeah. That's not good, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm supposed to contact you or get a hold of you or see if you're still alive. Well, Russ will be the gauge on that one. <laughs> you know, like I'm sure he'd be nice enough to put on my Facebook page if I died. Would you, Russ? Yes, I would. Oh, Thanks, Russ. I appreciate you, that. You are a pal. Right. You are a pal, man. Yeah. We were uh, discussing earlier in the week, uh, Russ and I, because uh, last uh, at the beginning of the year I came up with this plan, like if things didn't start getting better to me, better for me, yeah, I was going to probably pretty much declare a mulligan and... Oh, okay. You know, off myself. Yeah. But I, mean, I want to do it fun and creative. Yeah, I don't want to be... I was just going to ask. If suicide is selfish, life. so yeah. I want to benefit other people. Uh-huh. So um, I was uh, thinking of auction, my, auctioning my suicide off to charity. Oh, If okay. I do do it, you know, and try to raise a lot of money. You know, I saw something similar to that, except uh, not at all similar, but some lady was <laughs> auctioning off auctioning her, virginity. Off her virginity. Right, yeah. right. If I had the money... You would auction off your virginity? Yeah, I will, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's a well, spot that's, that's still available? <laughs> <laughs> so how would you, like, what would you go on eBay and then auction off, like, the, like, come up, or would you, like, ask people for the best ways to do it, or? No, or? I'd, I'd come up with my way to do it. I just oh, okay. would try to find a way to, I, like, how do you promote suicide for charity, though, you know, like? Yeah, that's kind of a downer all around. It's, it's got to sound good, you know, like <laughs> something that the, the alliteration would is always a good way. Yeah, like, well, like something similar to like Save the Tatas or... Right, or, right. Yeah, suicide yeah. for seals or <laughs> suicide for sluts or, you know, for <laughs> something Stop like... Stop clubbing the seals, club Jeff. Yeah, that, exactly. <laughs> that would be murder, though, <laughs> wouldn't it? Well, it's... You know, as a, as a friend of yours, Jeff, I'd hate to say that, you know, I... I'll, I'd throw 20 bucks for you to kill would you? yourself. Okay. I would never say that, though, because that's yeah. sounds horrible. No, like, that's the way we, that's to... how I want it. I want everybody to throw in money. It'd be great to raise a million dollars for a charity yeah. and, you know, like, take a mulligan. I, is the phone ringing? No, that's not us. Oh, I thought we had our telethon going already. That we no, were... no, it's not. <laughs> Let's get this one on PBS. Let's <laughs> have Dr. How Dwayne How much Dyer. would you pay a man to see him off himself or okay. just off himself? That would be cool, like a C, you know, like yeah, visual. I think so. Maybe I don't know if that'd be cool. See, and I mean, I wouldn't want it to be too painful. I'd think pills, but last time I tried it with pills, I ended up waking up after a day and a half. Oh wow, well, yeah, a that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> Did you mistake him wherever you were for heaven? Like, yeah, I dude, did. Really? No, I thought hell because I, oh, I did yeah, it in yeah, Cudahy. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I came to and I'm like, really? <laughs> hell is Cudahy? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, to some people, it is. Hell on earth. 
Russ had a great show this weekend in uh, Janesville. Oh, yeah, I did, how yeah. was it? I saw that. Yeah, that was uh, last kind of a last minute call. So, uh, somebody uh, called off and they called me in there. It was a what a great room that is, you know. Yeah, where uh, was it again? Uh, Crane's Butter is uh, that's one of his rooms, yeah. and uh, it was a place called the Laughing Lounge. Okay. And uh, yeah, it had a. 80 tickets sold before the show, so wow. it was really, uh, really a nice show. Everybody did well. Uh, Eric O'Connor's headlined that, uh -huh. and uh, um, I'm not sure what is Marcos Atlanta. Is that his last name? Uh, uh, Lara Lapera. Yeah, Lara? yeah. Oh, okay. He runs that book room down yeah, there. He, he runs a couple shows. Yeah, he emceed that, and after he got done with that show, he ran off and did another show. So he oh, had like wow. two shows uh, booked that night, and uh, Brian Morris. Oh, from okay. Madison, you yeah. know, and yeah, funny guy, you know. It was, so the place was packed. Oh yeah, it was. It was a great, uh, great outing. I really, uh, you better, know, uh, I was really happy over that. Was yeah. it better than the Armory when you had performed at the Armory, or? Uh, it was similar, you know. I mean, uh, uh, the Armory, uh, obviously, a lot larger and uh, uh, more of a nightclub uh, setting. Oh, but okay. uh, uh, where this was actually, it was in the America's Best Value Inn. Which oh, is okay. yeah, so it was like a, a banquet room in there that they turned into the the laughing lounge. Oh, I got yeah, you. But it was great, you know. And was it? That's Janesville. Right. Is Janesville. it the same place that they're running that open mic uh, during the weekdays in the bar area there? There's uh, a bar. Area that I'm not sure of. I'm not. You know. I'm pretty sure that uh, Marcos runs something like oh, that. Oh, could I don't be. Know, or Marcos and and Cranes does that. I did a, right. a open mic there once, and uh, they were talking about having a show, so that's probably where it was. Yeah. I went out there one time. And performed in front of a, a bar full of eight people who had no interest. <laughs> but uh, I don't mind that we're, anymore. <laughs> we're, we're I, I expect that, actually. Right. They're right. building this. A um, uh, girl named Mickey is actually the one that's running it. And uh, this was the best show they had out of three so wow. far. So it's uh, it's building for them. And that's what's a, a good thing. Well, you know how when you, you start out, too, the yeah. first show might be really good. And then the second one, not so good. And you're trying to build up clientele to come in there. So uh, that's what they're doing. And uh, um, I don't know. It's just a promising room, I think. That's cool. cool. Well, the reason they came out so, so much is that Russ Martin was there. Oh, all right. So, yeah. You know yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, my on. fans on Facebook, you know. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. You're going to be out there, they're coming. Right. <laughs> yeah. So you haven't done any shows lately, Jeff? No. Nah. No? I did a bowling alley in uh, somewhere. Elkhorn. Elkhorn for a corporate event on uh, Which, uh, Friday. What, what was the corporation? I forgot the name of it, actually. Was I, it? I don't remember the name of it because I was so fixated on how bad possibly the show could go and, how did it, and go? it went actually really well they were awesome crowd they were ready to roll uh i haven't done much crowd work but i branched out and tried to do a little bit nice. of crowd work and uh it worked out pretty well i found a, a retired amish person in the crowd which is just awesome how do you retire from being Amish? exactly i said well how does that work is there like a 401k plan or something <laughs> what i really should have said afterwards i don't know if this happens to you when you're doing crowd work but you're always like oh i should have said that. yeah okay okay because yeah. i was like i should have said so does that mean instead of making furniture you're buying furniture now is that the difference between but what uh, happen, but the next time I run into a uh, retired Amish person, that's what I'm using. I got that in my you bag. You got your now. retired Amish saver. Absolutely, in your back yeah. So what was uh, what was he doing with his Amish retirement? Was oh, she, it was she. It was oh, a chick. It, yeah. Was she a young old? No, she's an old short lady, and uh, she she's what she's doing with it is sitting in a bar watching me try to perform comedy. That's basically in drunk, really drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's a drunk a, Amish retired yes, woman. Yes, I mean she was plastered. There was about three of them. Did you? Uh, oh, you're married, so you didn't yeah, try to. No. I, I had a friend that was Amish, and uh, his girlfriend left him for a guy who had a VCR. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch out. She might leave him for a uh, eight track or something. Right. The retro stuff. <laughs> That's cool, man. Uh, what else you got? You got any other shows planned that you're uh, doing, Russ? Uh, I have something uh, with Lee Lakin in uh, January, but I... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but otherwise, I don't really have anything lined up. I have to start lining things up. I'm, um, I'm kind of closing the year out unless somebody calls me for a fill-in to... Uh, yeah. Um, I'm actually... I have, I'm back at my old job. Just, you know... Uh, uh, trying to get some money together and uh 
Well, good. I hope you yeah. have another retirement party soon. Right. That was great, Russ. <laughs> I missed it. I know you missed it, man. He, he throws a great retirement party. I know. Yeah. I heard. Yeah. And I, it was I, fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, man. But you worked too hard, Russ. You, you ran. What kind of shift did you work? To, I mean, you were an insane. Well, I worked, shift you know, all, all, all the hours. Just, I, today, I even I worked a uh, goofy. You know, I worked like uh, 10 p.m. last night until 2:15 in the morning. Then came back in at 6 a.m. and worked till 2:30 in the afternoon. <laughs> Grabbed a, about an hour nap and then yeah. I'm coming down here. So oh, it was, real, yeah. Man. You know, it's uh, sleep. Uh, eh. Who needs it, right? <laughs> I, don't even, sissies, right? I don't even work those kind of hours. And you got to be what? Uh, 60 times my age, Russ. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, but you look great. You're awesome. Thank you so much for coming down oh, and everything, yeah. man. And uh, I, uh, I changed out a motor today, which uh, like an AC motor, which I have no idea how to do. Oh. It was huge. It weighs 900 pounds. Holy crap! On what? Uh, we, it's a AC motor that runs a turbine, and my boss wanted me to help him. And I'm a, I, I'm a custodian. I'm not, you know. But I have a. Uh, background in maintenance mechanics but i never knew you know it was like wow this is insane you know swapping out a motor and uh it was pretty interesting it was horrific what did you guys times. do with the old motor we has just switched it from one place to the other it was making noise and stuff like you know exciting stuff like <laughs> making noise it runs at like 1800 rpms a minute so you have to make sure. I'm not really sure what that even <laughs> it's means. It's very fast. Like it runs. Sounds like really Dobie fast. Maxwell's car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it was like. It's I, about that size too. I, I just bought a car from him. As Jeff can verify. Yeah, that. really. Yeah, I bought that Cavalier that he had, and uh, really, I know I'm going to have problems with it because instead of a keychain, it's hooked to uh, the keys are hooked to a key, jumper cables, and it's going <laughs> to. <laughs> Did you keep the uh, Uranus bumper sticker on the yeah, back? Yeah, it is. <laughs> thing is yeah, huge. I love a Uranus. Oh, of course, that's what, <laughs> that's what, that's what tells you that it's a <laughs> it's a Dolby Maxwell car. Right. Is he still doing that Mothership show every Sunday? I didn't see yeah, any posts about it yesterday. Yeah. Um, the only time they, they do like a rerun is well about two weeks ago uh, we went up to uh, Harris and we did uh, the casino up there. Oh yeah. And, okay. And. Uh, and believe it or not, there's no snow here, but we had to go pick Steve Purcell up in Madison. Okay. We go over there, we get just west of Waukesha, snow. And snow all the way up into upper Michigan. And then we did the show, and then we came back instead of staying there because Steve had to be back to work okay. the next day. And we get to, by the time we got to Green Bay, just as the game was ending, and, you know, it was solid cars all the way back to Milwaukee. <laughs> Unreal, man. <laughs> yeah. But he, uh, that night, obviously, he they did a rerun on uh, on the show. No, oh, okay. WLIP down in uh, in Racine. Man, he gets a lot of In, lot in of Kenosha. Stuff. He Kenosha. does a lot of stuff, man. He's always yeah. on TV and right. doing, especially around here and... He yeah. has that radio show. Uh, oh, I, I got to tell you that, you know, up there, his uh, uh, Wendy, his cousin, was up there. And she, you know, we did, you and I uh, did that show with yeah. uh, him for uh, Josh Albert. Yeah, that was They great. made $12,000. 12000 Are you kidding me? Wow. No. Yeah, I mean, that was with wow, the, the, um, the the silent auction and everything. Mostly okay. through the silent auction, but they made a couple yeah. grand off of us as well. Yeah, you know? yeah, well, so, that's great. Yeah. That's yeah, that was awesome cool. because they had a lot of cool stuff being auctioned off too. Right. You know, um, uh, like Packer, Packer jerseys. and I mean, people were donating all sorts of stuff for that cause. Right. And that all goes to him, hey, to right. help him out. So. And he is uh, just starting to walk now. I mean, Good. Uh, so it's, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a long, tedious process for him. But uh, I, I'd have to say that was probably one of the most, the coolest shows I was ever a part of just simply because of the cause and the attention right. that was there. It was amazing. Right. I'd never seen anything like that in my life where right. there's, you know, news vans out front and political notables. And yeah, Chief I know, and right? I was like, geez. Donovan and who right. else was What's there? What's going on? Yeah, um, uh, yeah. Flynn Barrett, and Barrett. Barrett was Barrett, there. Barrett. And, and the, yeah, the chief, chief and everything. And chief Flynn, right. Afterwards, it, like, I'm walking out the door and the chief shakes my hand. He's like, oh, it was pretty cool. And I'm like, dude, I've like seen you on TV and stuff. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> but you're like the man, you know, like the chief of police. That's so awesome. But it was incredible experience experience you right know? and uh, i'd love to do more of those to for a good right you know i would never you know 
uh, for if you ever did do your suicide thing, we should have a comedy show. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's what I want to do. It's I really wanted to do one for that Brian Murphy, you know, down on Oak Creek, you know, shot 15 times from uh, yeah. during that sick uh, temple uh, oh, yeah, massacre yeah. that they had. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, how that guy survived is unbelievable, but. Uh, Unreal. Yeah. Unbelievable with that stuff. Right. Everything like that. So. Yeah. So what else is new, guys? <laughs> Someone's leaving me out to hang. It seems. We don't have O'Day to sit here and nitpick and call know, his names. He? And he's in what? Bismarck, North Dakota. Um, That's like the Siberia of North America. <laughs> yeah, Bismarck. North People from Dakota. Bismarck go to Siberia to vacation. <laughs> well, I called them yesterday, and they were in Fargo. Oh. And I was like, what are you doing in Fargo, man? Like, That's crazy up there. I never go there. Watch him come back with that accent. Yeah, yeah, that accent, yeah. So I I guess they're having a great time. They've been hitting clubs and stuff. So, you know, from their, from what they were saying, I was like, I, I hope you're right. taking pictures. And, and, yeah, that's uh, cool. And uh, doing that kind of thing. So I guess they're going to be gone for a month. So they're going to wow. be in Nevada around New Year's Eve. And then... Um, uh, they're gonna try to make it, or yeah, New Year's Eve, and then they're trying to make it down to Idaho for for Nate for um, uh, oh. Christmas, for so he can be with his family. So they're kind of like paving their way, wow, you know, gig to gig. You know, I wish I had the time to do that stuff, but I got a boring family and everything. <laughs> right, <laughs> it is, man. It's boring. It really, when everything's going great, it's just terrifyingly boring. I don't know if that's my problem. Like, I got an issue with, like, normal family life. Or do you think it's my problem? Well, not a problem. Problem. Oh, I think but, it's a you problem. know because yeah. yeah. I always yeah. got to make excitement. You know? Right. Yeah. You got to go do stuff like Play. set off fireworks indoors. Yeah. Or I got to go cut the grass. <laughs> yeah. I gotta even have to get the leaves out. You know. <laughs> I don't have to pay bills or something. <laughs> get my electricity cut off like the old days. <laughs> right. But yeah, so anything else uh, interesting to talk about, Jeff? Anything on your mind? Anything going on? No. Nah. Nothing? <laughs> no. Nah. Nothing at all? Half my days are spent trying to figure out who I'm going to rub one out to at the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing going on, you know, and you're running out of the That's one lottery I don't want to win. <laughs> oh, you already won it a couple of weeks ago. We did a threesome, Ross. You were, you were fantastic. She was screaming your name, and I felt insecure. <laughs> so, uh, she screamed my name, Dick. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> Putting out job applications and you yeah. Know, yeah. not hearing back. Well, now I'm definitely not going to hear back. <laughs> so, is know? that, that so. Is, that's your newer car, right? Yeah, I've had that it you for from a Hinti? while. Yeah, but we just haven't had a title and we still don't. And now I'm, my back's to the wall, so. Oh, okay. Just you know, when I get pulled over and get a ticket for you, no you need a title for the car? How yeah. about Shipmobile? <laughs> <laughs> oh, real? You mean crap mobile? Oh, that's what I meant. Yeah. I meant. <laughs> Thank you. Sir. A Shiite mobile, I meant. There you go. There you go. I'm waiting for my plates for my new car. Oh, you still, still haven't gotten them? No, yet. I paid my tickets, too, which is really frustrating because I put all a lot of money. Like ninety dollars that I don't have that I tried to skip out on. And they wouldn't. Let, they're no they're tough like that. They though. are tough like that. I even wanted them to take it on my tax. Like, go ahead, take it. They took some. Out yeah, of my they, taxes. Once a year, they have an amnesty program where you can uh, settle up your parking tickets for a can of soup. Are you kidding me? No, it's when was a food that? drive. Usually, it's around November. Oh man. So if you can hold out until November. And then you go out and pay your tickets. Well, but... the, I had tickets and I didn't want to pay them, so I just took the car to the uh the junkyard so yeah. i just chucked it the can of soups from costco though was 124 dollars <laughs> <laughs> it's like a gallon drum of campbell's <laughs> yeah that's that's the difference you got. it's gotta be uh it's, it's gotta be 18 gallon. gallons <laughs> russ has one at his house we does we, he we, yeah we swim in it with it's, it's the jacuzzi it's the... Oh my god <laughs> It's reminds me of those big pickle yeah. jars that you We eat. say it's chicken flavored, but uh, we know differently. <laughs> Where do you pick up a can that size? Costco, yeah. I think. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they have that. Though. Yeah, 50 gallon drums, I think. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. That's a lot. You know, I once, that reminds me, I, I once knew a baker dude, and uh, I'd go and watch him. 
bake a, like I never knew how donuts were made, so and I'm a very fat, so I'm very interested in that type of thing, like how how they should be a cop. Put the stuff in there. Yeah, no kidding. Right? Well, you know how donuts you get are made. Free ones. Yeah, they shoot the hole out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I used to work at a bakery. It was my first job I ever really? got fired from. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. So yeah, that jelly machine, and yeah. I just wanted to like. Put Stick your mouth, mouth right up, up to, to it. it. Yeah, and then they bring out the 55-gallon uh, garbage. Uh, not really a garbage. But I mean, it was like a, uh, a pail? tub. Yeah, a pail. It was yeah. a garbage can, but that's not what they used it for. Right. And it was loaded with uh, uh, that icing, that white oh, icing wow. stuff. Right. And I'm like, dude, I just, just – want to go in there like i just want to go in there and shut the lid and just be in my own shame spiral for like the next half an hour and i'd finish it i would i'd finish that bad boy and uh it would have been amazing and i still dream of that someday do you you want we'll to make that happen i would love you to go make in a diabetic that coma i don't mind man that'd be great as long as i can come up every once in a while for a smoke right. i'd be fine <laughs> but that that would be amazing to me just like um you know i don't know a lot of people say like the the swim pool full of jello or whatever that's right. that's kind of ex- disgusting with right. body parts and you know, you're swimming in it, and you're not going to eat it, you know. Uh, but maybe, like, pudding or something. I don't know. Uh, just, or soda. Uh, a soda pool. <laughs> I'm just spitballing here. <laughs> I always wanted a bubbler with Diet Coke that yeah, came out of it. Yeah, I did it as well. And <laughs> Have you? Yeah. I don't know if they Mountain make Dew. those. I know they used to make them for, uh, for beer because the breweries used to have something of that, didn't they? And they have something like that way back in the day, long, long time ago. You could drink on the job. I know that. I didn't right. know if they had beer bubblers. But if they uh, did, well, they, they did have. They, no, at Miller Brewing Company, they did have one. Uh, <coughs> I used to work there. They did have yeah. one one room there that this this beer was not. Uh, it was not pasteurized yet. It was just, and it w- went it went through the line through the well, one line came to the this um, the lunch room. Yeah. And they, yeah, they could just tap out of there, and it was just like. <laughs> freshly made. No, I'm not kidding you. It was freshly That's made. That's great. Yeah. yeah. That's wonderful. No wonder there were so many accidents way back then. Right. My uh, father-in-law worked for Miller, and he still gets cases. Can you go down there and get cases on your birthday? Oh, uh, yeah. I, 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 can, uh, I can buy them at a discount, at a retiree discount. But, uh, I mean, I used to get free ones. We used to get, uh, it was 36. Wait, a month or it? something? No, it was uh, three a month, right? So it was 36 a year. Yeah. But they gave one for your birthday and one for uh, Christmas. So that was 38 a year. My wife worked there when I was married. And, this, uh, you know, so we got like 76 free cases of beer a year. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I wonder if they have those kind of benefits at, like, condom factories or... Yeah. I know they did at soap fat. I mean, that'd be weird, right? Here, you get, you get uh, a, you know, like a 48-pack every of week those every week, week or, or every month or... You know, and on your birthdays, you get, like, multicolored ones or something. That, condoms are you talking about? Yeah, like, yeah like, no, like condoms. You know, like if you worked mm. at a condom factory and they get... That would be inappropriate, I think, wouldn't but, it? I, last time I went down to Planned Parenthood, they gave me a big grocery bag full of condoms. Oh, really? Yeah, and it, I didn't... It took a while to get through. <laughs> through. <laughs> I mean, I did. I was... Yeah, you know. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of balloons or yeah, that's, oh, okay. balloons. that's, that's what I thought. The yeah, bad yeah. part though, is they're all unlubricated. Oh, okay. Why would that be? I don't understand. Probably a is reminder a if you don't wear a condom, we want you to feel the burn. You know? Oh, I got you. Yeah. 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 If you miss the rug burn. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or if you don't particularly care for, her, don't lube up and just let her deal with it. Oh you know? wow. That's... You know, like unless that's... she's are they. Call, they're, no. well, weren't they supposed to have called by 10 after? Yeah. They're not reliable. <laughs> <laughs> they're in a different time zone. They, <laughs> they call an hour. Oh, yeah, they are. next hour. <laughs> that is a different time yeah, zone. Yeah, they're an hour it? behind us. Mountain wow. time, right? Yeah. I don't know. I've yeah. never been to North Dakota. I never. Yeah, really you're talking about Miller there, you know. Or, yeah. Yeah. They, uh, when I first started there, you know, and you could drink on that job, I thought, I mean, that's how I became a workaholic. You, just, <laughs> you know, they asked to work overtime. I thought, yeah, well, you know, all the people go out and they're paying to drink. I just go there and get paid to drink. Yes. It was a great deal. That is a great deal, man. Yeah. But, yeah, that 
That's like a, one of the dream jobs a guy would want to have is working right. at a brewery. I thought I hit the mini lottery. I really did. It yeah. was kind of. Yeah. How long did you work there, Russ? Uh, twenty six years. Holy going on twenty seven years. What yeah. did you do? Uh, I worked security there. Believe it or not, ex cop oh, worked security. You secured, you secured right. the beer. There's nothing right. better than a drunk security guard. <laughs> no, I got to tell you, <laughs> free beer is better than free donuts. That's what. I gotta say. That's true. That's true. And if you get both, you got the mother load. Uh, right. The mother load. They. I actually worked at the corporate headquarters. You know, for corporate security and. And uh, uh, they did have free donuts in the morning. They come on with uh, uh, with coffee and donuts free. Wow! Uh, you know, yeah. And then and the, then beer later. Yeah, and then in the afternoon they would have like Seven Up and coffee, and they come around on cars and like uh, you know you you help yourself, you know. Wow! Yeah. How long have you been a security guy? Uh, well, a long time, long time. I was uh, probably when did I, when was that? I think. Uh, 1977, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was only a security guard for seven years. Yeah. I had to wear polyester for seven years. I couldn't imagine wearing it for <laughs> that long. Right? Well, we were actually, we, we did wear polyester at, at uh, Miller, at, you know, at Northwestern Mutual. I mean, I'm doing the same job there. But yeah. You got regular suits there, you know. So yeah, well, that's they wanna, nice. They wanna, want you to look a little more professional, I guess, for the uh, financial world. Yeah, so, I got you. Yeah. You, well, you know what, the... I like the fact that you were a retired cop because you're not going to have that um, mentality that a lot of security guards have, which are they want they're a security oh. guard, in, but they want to be a cop. So right. I'd work with them. Like I worked at PH Harness Figure as a security guard for seven years, and wow. there was like two guys there that were hardcore, like check in, do your D taxes, and that's where you walk around and, and you know with your wand or whatever and check check areas, you know. Right. Uh, call them out. I want to know times, you know, so you'd right. be on the radio uh, D tax three detected at uh, blah blah blah, and he'd write it down like he's insane or something, like it matters. Yeah. And I would just sit at the bar with my radio and just be like, "Dtex 48 <laughs> and put it down. Yeah, because there was a bar, like, right down the block. I yeah. remember you told me that a great story when you worked at uh, Arby. No, was it Arby's? Don't... Hardy's. No, no, the uh, – was it the – the Aliota, where you had them pour the water into the Oh, yeah, the, uh, I did that. Fire. Yeah, I'm not going to name the place. But, yeah, that was a great, that was a true story. And I did that. Yeah, I had them put a gal or a pitcher of water into the fryer <laughs> just for my <laughs> own entertainment. Oh. I told them that it was uh, to clean the fryer. Oh. And uh, it started a major fire. Wow. Oh. And but, you ran. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I, I, that's what I do. I run. Yeah. When uh, well, he turned around trying to point me out, and I'm rather large, <laughs> and easy, not easy to miss, you know. So I just hid, and uh, luckily, he got fired, and I could continue <laughs> on with my job <laughs> as entertainment. But yeah, that was a that was a fun story. And you know, when I first started Miller, uh, I was down in the plant area, and they they actually wore the quasi cop uniforms you know oh okay yeah, yeah. you know with the and they had the uh you know the the tie that uh you yep. pull off you know yeah that's what i had yeah, yeah. snap on tie you know but uh we're done you know and uh i think my my son he was embarrassed that i was uh, i wasn't a cop anymore that i was a security officer so because they had a career day at school you know and, yeah, uh, yeah you know and he was telling everybody there i was an astronaut <laughs> you know <laughs> so the teacher called me at home, and she says, oh, you know, uh, I didn't get a slip back. Sean didn't bring the slip back, you know. Uh, be sure to come in tomorrow. It was career day, and be sure to wear your uniform. Yeah. <laughs> so I come in there, you know, and I got my Pinkerton uniform on. I walk in there, and, you know, the kids look and say, hey, Sean, I thought you said your dad was an astronaut. What does he do, guard the lunar module when the other guys go for a spacewalk? <laughs> So you were Pinkerton security? At <laughs> no, no, I just used that. And oh, okay. that was actually uh, Miller was. Um, you worked for Miller there. Oh, yeah. okay. So now I heard it's different. Oh, so is since it? Since I left the last couple of years. I was Burns. <laughs> Burns security. Oh, okay. Only on only on uh, Extemper Radio are we going to hear dogs bark and yes, studio. absolutely. <laughs> They're fighting. All we're that. at Westminster. A Abby, the <laughs> club show. We got uh, the dog <laughs> rating first. What's your dog's name, sir? Lily. Lily took first place in the uh, video section. The most. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> one time I'm hanging out. We were playing poker with my buddies, and uh, we we're at his house, and the dog was right there and starts licking his junk. Okay. And yeah. I just. Uh, 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 my buddy Sean turns to me. And he goes, "Hey, don't you wish you could do that?" 
Yeah. I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. I really do. Yeah. And he's like, all right, but you better ask him first. <laughs> 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 hey, -o, hey -o. <laughs> That's great. I just had to find a dog joke if we were. That was that was that. A, that was awesome. That was incredible. We I don't lost know the dog. dog. It's, uh, yeah, I think they. Lo oh no, they're over there. I think they're avoiding us. Maybe. Oh. I don't know. That's okay. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll have what to... kind of dog was that? Anyways, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know my dogs. So uh, I grew up with dogs. I grew up with. Four sheep dogs, monstrous. Those monstrous are cool dogs. dogs. Yeah. I like the bangs hang down and they cover their eyes. Yeah, my mom used to like shave the hair off and then like use one of those big wheels to like, like they do with sheep, like to oh, make yeah, yarn. Yeah. Out of, it was kind of gross. So actually. what did she make? She made nothing. She just made yarn for some reason. I don't know. I don't remember her ever making me a sweater. Thank God. I mean, I wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want a sheepdog like sweater? No, absolutely not. I think that'd be <laughs> kind of disgusting. But those were huge dogs, and now I have no desire to have any pets except for fish. Really? Yeah, and I'm not even taking care of them. Really, the tanks is horrible. I haven't been <laughs> in like three weeks. I think they're dying. Well, but you know. I get grossed up by wiener dogs humping my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Those are cool dogs, man. You know, I really like right. those toy dogs, the, the oh. toy breeds, the yeah. ones that are like that big. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. three inches big or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love those <laughs> things, man. And they die all the time because they have complications. Because uh. every because they're not, that's not a normal dog to have. We breeded right. them into these tiny right. mutant midget things. So midget they're hell. pets are the best. They are, yeah. but, but like I said, we like Frankenstein them. So their health, they're constantly like dying, or they have health issues, or their hearts are exploding. Or Aaron <laughs> Rodgers throws an interception, and they can only take one kick. You know, <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> uh oh, we did read the read the disclaimer at the beginning of the show. Russ is not. Really Aaron Rodgers doesn't throw interceptions. Nope. We apologize, <laughs> listeners. This is Green Bay. We don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, awesome. That last game was pretty good, though. Hey, yeah, Ew, both quarterbacks was, were throwing no, to the Packers. That was a horrible game. <laughs> a Bears fan over that here. That was an absolute horrible. The first eight minutes were fantastic, <laughs> and after that, the Packers decided to play. Yeah, they decided. <laughs> oh, we were here. That. <laughs> I didn't watch it. I didn't see it, but I heard it was all right. I mean, that was horrible. It was horrible. A horrible. Horrible game on their part, or uh, on the Bears. Uh, oh, that okay. I'm a diehard Bears. I'm Are a you really? Fan, yeah. I'm not a sports fan whatsoever. I'm no. a complete no. I was, I've never done sports or anything. I've never done sports. I've done heroin, cocaine, <laughs> Xanax. Uh, never sports. No. <laughs> But yeah, I never did sports. I never. I tried out for sports once uh, when I was like 16. I tried out for basketball because I thought I'd be cool. You know, like, you know, I was. Sick of Michael being, Jordan phase going on, or? I think so. Yeah, I had shoes, so I had really good <laughs> shoes. So I was gonna try basketball, and then I had to go get the physical. You have to go get the physical, and they ask you if you're smoking. And I'm like, no, I'm not smoking. But he could tell I was smoking. Because you were smoking like, while he asked you? Probably because I had a cigarette outside. No. Like, yeah. You got a light dog? up on his shirt sleeve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the pack in my pocket. I said, no, I'm not smoking. And so they... I can't be a basketball player if you smoke, right. which is that's what happened to my son. Is. I know it is. I, mean, right? I, I knew a couple of professional ball players, both football and basketball, and they smoked. Oh yeah. Yeah, they were like, "Oh, we well, just do it in the off season." And well, let me like kill that. myself if that's the case, anyways. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what is it to you? I yeah, mean, exactly. Kids, kids yeah. drop dead all the time because of aneurysms and stuff like that. Well, why not cancer? Why not lung cancer? Right? Why not yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. how was your smoking thing going, by the way? You know, I was doing really good up until uh, the day my truck got stolen, <laughs> and then I just started fucking puffing. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. It's a good thing you didn't started. have the cigarettes in the in the glove compartment. Was... No, they got those. Oh, they did? did they? Yeah, they uh -huh. got everything. Like, wow. I, like uh, the Monday prior, it got stolen on a Thursday. The Monday prior, I took all my books, almost all my DVDs, and all my CDs and uh, donated them to the troops overseas. At a wit's end, right? At wit's yeah. end. And yeah. as I was giving them the box of stuff, I'm like, all right, with the exception of my clothes, my camera, my cell phone, and my car, these are all, this is all my worldly possessions. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, four days later, you know, like, 
the universe probably didn't want me to brag about having a cricket phone. <laughs> like, I didn't, oh, you, you know, you're just getting too full of yourself right yeah. now. We're going to make sure that cricket phone and that S10 with the bad engine, we got to get rid of that, you know. Like, Did you call it into the cops? Or yeah, what? they wouldn't. Here's a funny, interesting thing. If you call yeah. the uh, police to report a stolen car, they don't give a shit. They don't care. No, they tell you, come to us. They wouldn't come to the to my work. What? No, because apparently it's not a crime anymore. Like if you want to if you want to do a if you want to get away with illegal crap, steal yeah. cars. Nobody cares. Yeah. We're, okay. <laughs> I understand that, but nobody please steal cars. But no, that's ridiculous and that they wouldn't come on. Yeah, exactly. And then you got to go up there and then you sit, you know, waste your time. Yeah, it's you got to like, talk to criminals and. They treat you like people. they were treating me like the criminal. You know? Really? Yeah, I just I didn't appreciate that. You know, was it the gun or what was it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Profiling, I tell you, I that's know. ridiculous, man. All the time. That's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. So, yeah, my father's car just got broken into three weeks ago. Yeah. They actually, uh, I don't think they were like joyriders because they 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 popped the lock out, which is kind of professional stuff. Yeah. They didn't bust a window, so they popped the lock out. Chicago peeled the collar and couldn't get it to go. So then they just stole, like, the change and stuff. <laughs> and it's like, this is like a 1994 Buick. Yeah, like, they're going for older cars. Why, why can't you, you can't start it with a, you can't peel a car and take off? Or you can't, like, you got so sophisticated with the pop lock thing. She can't pop the collar. With the polar, <laughs> but you can't, you can't. Do a Chicago Peel on a 1994 Buick? Really? Are you kidding me? There's no alarm. There's nothing, you know. So I don't know if they were joyriders or, like, professional joyriders or whatever. But professional joyriders? <laughs> I don't know, but they couldn't. At least they didn't break the window, uh, you know, to get in the car. So my dad got the collar fixed, and he's on his way. But That's they, cool. There's stuff always, people are always violating their vehicles, like throwing bottles in their windshields and it's just ridiculous. Wow. Yeah, my, you know, it's just, but that's that's kind of ridiculous. They didn't come out, and at least say, yeah, it is stolen. But so they haven't found it yet. They no, no they, they're probably anything. not even looking. No, they're not. Looking. <laughs> you know, they're not looking. <laughs> Did you look down on, uh, uh, by the lakefront under the bridge? That's usually. What I did not down. check oh, this, but okay. I, I mean, after work that night, I drove all around town looking at yeah. every. Alley and Street. Was it stolen in Milwaukee? Or? Yeah, on First and Wells, right across oh. from the Paps Theater. So looking at Craigslist wow. for uh, sold, uh, sold uh, S10 That's parts. That's a good idea. Yeah, miscellaneous, miscellaneous parts or cars. I mean, the whole car maybe. <laughs> like yeah. repainted a really crappy color like they do with the bikes. You can yeah. always tell a stolen bike. Brush painted, <laughs> blaze orange like the General Lee yeah. or something like that. <laughs> like you can see the license if there was a license on like scraped off with a knife. It's like, like a gun with no serial numbers. Big decal on the side, not yeah, it stolen. Just, it just says stolen yeah. all over the yeah. <laughs> Unreal, man. You know, that's just crappy that that happened to you. Have you ever had a car stolen, Russ? No, never did. Have you ever stolen a car? No, I haven't done that either. Well, that's good because you're a security guard. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, uh, yeah. You know, uh, I did have a. I had a ragtop '69 Camaro. You know, I had a, a hugger orange or black racing strap across the top, and. Uh, or maybe it was a Buick Skylark. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, sorry. A uh, Mini Cooper. I don't know. <laughs> or it a was, uh, Fiat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Russ. I, I don't mean to step on your own. No, no, that's fine. Stuff. I just uh, loved it. I just, it was just there. Nobody else knows what we're talking about, but hey, it's, uh, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> but but they actually did the you know, and the guy was real good. You know, he, he wasn't going to steal the car. He just went down. He cut right along the top of the uh, uh, of the convertible, right? And oh, okay. Right along, so he could reach in and pull it. You know. Yeah. And so then he went in there, and all I had in there uh, back then in the day, they had. Uh, green stamps that you got with your uh, gas purchases, you know, gasoline oh, okay. purchases. So you fill these books up and get like two bucks back after nice. you spent 300 bucks of uh, okay. yeah. gas, you know. <laughs> and, you know, but that's how, that's how it worked, you know. And so he got these, oh, and I had an old uh, army hat in there that had the ear flaps. So, you know, he looked like Art Kambalik, you know. <laughs> in my car, I caught him in the car and I told him to get out because I didn't see the, because I thought she left. You caught had, him in the car? Yeah, I caught him in the car with, with uh, uh, my girlfriend at the time who turned out to be my first wife later on but uh you know <laughs> and uh but 
you know, uh, I didn't see it. She says, oh, it's cut on top because it was cut on her side. Yeah. You know, because I could see my door was still locked, so I figured she left her door open. And, uh, you know, so I go chasing after this guy. He was gone. We were in a parking structure downtown, and he just he just vanished. So, well, but was I hot? I was oh, like. I get, I, that happened to me when I was, uh, I drove around a convertible Escort for the longest time, and I had cool rims on it and stuff, and cool, uh, these little uh, things for the tire knobbies or whatever, right. like really nice stuff. And I was sitting at my dad's shop, and there's a huge window just like this, huge plate window. And I'm sitting there, and I'm talking to him, and I look, and a kid drives by on his bike, kneels down, and starts stealing those off of my car <laughs> right in front of me, wow. like right there. <laughs> so I ring it out, and I said, you know, hey, what are you doing? And he's like, you know, flipped me off and drove his, rode his bike around the corner and this is right by 79th that and Lincoln. That was you. Yes, it oh, was. Dude, I'm sorry, sure. man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would have known it was you cuz I caught him. Oh, I, actually, yeah. <laughs> I actually got in my car and chased him with my vehicle really? down the street for 39 cent knobbies for a car tire right. cuz I was so angry Pum that he did or that. What did you do? No, I uh, they hid. There was two of them. They hid in the park. I drove my car halfway into the park. And then I got out. I don't like to walk. I'm a big guy, you know. <laughs> and I found him in the bush because I saw him dive in there. And I said, get out here. And he's like, no, you're going to beat me. And I said, I might, but get out yeah. of the bush. <laughs> and uh, I dragged him back to the shop. I told my dad, you know, what he did and where he was. And I said, what should I do? Because this kid's like 10, 15, you know, like 10, 11 years old. My dad's like, well, you could do two things. You could call the cops and really ruin his life. Or you could take him home. And really ruin his <laughs> life. <laughs> Wait, you meant he meant to his parents, not yeah, you yeah, get yeah, to yeah, keep yeah, him like a no, pet no, or anything unfortun- like that. Unfortunately I couldn't keep him. So I, I, I chose yeah. to take him I chose to take him home and uh, I knocked on the door and I answered and I said, Hey, your son just stole stuff from me and he says, um, uh, his dad uh, turned out to be a cop. So it was like double bad uh, like he man. got really bad like i was trying to avoid the cops but instead i took him home which is worse and his dad happened to be a cop so it was a wonderful uh win-win for me and i didn't get any <laughs> money or nothing but i lost out on that so that was unfortunate <laughs> that was ridiculous well we're gonna wrap up here in a couple minutes um russ do you have any shows that are coming up i don't know if i asked you that yet or yeah you yeah you did uh i just had that one with uh la so far but i okay i plan on uh I might even do some shows be, be, between now and the end of the year, but uh, I, I really have nothing on the books right now. Okay, that. and uh, where do people find out what you're doing? Uh, like on your Facebook, what's your Facebook thing? Right, yeah, well, yeah, it's, uh, well, it's Russ Martin on Facebook. And, okay. And, uh, yeah, I, I make my own posters up. and uh, Those are and cool. I, very, yeah, that was yeah, awesome. Yeah, and, uh, and, I, and I do it for other people as well. You know, I've, uh, Jeff has done several shows that, yeah, with Mike Cullen, really awesome. you know, and... Uh, there's sort of more of the uh, alternate heavy metal motif, and the, you know, I had a couple of things that I thought looked fairly cool. But I, I like, I enjoy doing that, and yeah, uh, yeah. and so uh, uh, for some reason, you know, I really believe that, you know, it's hard if you promote a show, it's hard to get people in there, yeah. hard to fill the seats, and so I'm thinking like, you know, you get more creative with, with posters, especially if you can get like a uh, a cyber base where you can get absolutely, uh, you know. And uh, you just send them out, and they they can still enjoy the poster, but maybe they can't make the show. But now you're getting your name out there. Yeah, they, absolutely. And you start booking rooms on a on a permanent basis. Well, now they know, like on you know the uh, third uh, Saturday of the month, that you know you're going to be at uh, the Boneyard, like in uh, yeah. Sussex or someplace. And you know, and that'd be uh, uh, and that's what I'm looking forward to. to to do that that's cool that's cool so everyone can go to uh facebook and look up uh russ martin and uh, find out russ martin from milwaukee and you can find out uh where he might be performing in the future and uh you post all the time you post great stuff mm-hmm. and well, then uh, also if you want to see what jeff lampton's up to if you can get to a computer somehow uh you can find <laughs> out what he's doing at jeff lampton on facebook and then uh my name is jason evans and uh also please visit mke funny for all the comedy information in milwaukee and we're going to let you go. This is Extemper Radio. Bum, and bum, thank bum, you for bum, having us. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum.